um, split where I wish I could say it'll be a good game, but I uh, I gotta go with oh jeez oh jeez oh, 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 the original gangsters. Uh, let's find out then from our commentary team which way they're going. I know they were split last time around. Gents, uh, one of you doing well, one of you not doing well. I'm looking at this NIP lineup. They have tons of stuns, tons of lockdown. They can control this fight however they want. Look at this. Boris plus Elder Titan. I did turn around actually to get rid of the ball, maybe try and get rid of PPD. They can quite even up the trade. It's going to be interesting to watch this lane though, uh, considering that your comrade, if you get your hands on the stomp from Elder Time, there's a lot that Rupert can do in this type of game. And heavy nukes as well, by the way. Lose real perks pretty bad with the Arcane Supremacy. Stun coming out of the no-tell. Should be enough to bring him down. First blood does get drawn. Seb needs to back away very fast here, taking too much damage. The staple gun hurts. Tries to drop a tree to cover his escape, but it's too late. PPD gets the final swing. Oh yeah. That's that's a boots for PPD to dream. You shit. If stun gets if Sven gets a stun oh, like one of the heroes, it's definitely a kill. Thompson living life on the edge here. Fada, he has got Luzriel. He might die for this, actually. You need to be careful. Lift is going to come out. Moves him back. Luzriel. Thompson doesn't actually try and sidestep, interestingly enough. He just gave up. He said, okay, kill me. I want to come back full HP. Probably Probably in insults, expect, once well. you do stuff like that, you need to all chat insult as much as you can. That's the that's kill him. Fada might have more smiles. Uh, Dream Pool cool comes out. RTV has no escape plan there. He will go down. Another pack. He's thinking about chasing onto him. Decides against it. Actually, he might go in now. Thompson, lose your old crew. Whoopsie, look who's waiting. Fada puts us with the Dream Cool down. The Fate Bolt's enough to bring him down. PPD arriving. Can he do anything though? Lose your old is out and Thompson can move away. Perfectly time to make sure the Dream Cool ends. If you're looking to just act, like get active and, and aggressive very early. Yeah, on. Beastmaster's gonna be the one buying lands. They, they should make a move. Oh, Thompson. Fada, he's gonna get super low here. Froze out his own Lose your old, trying to move away, but no, he gets a fist by the use of the Nature's Wrath. And RTV standing his ground, Sax are trying to move away, but the Sprout is good, Seb, he gets active in multiple lanes here. And Sax might be going down as well, the right clicks can they overwhelm him. Yes they can, double kill for Seb here. You know you're gonna die if you get hit by Primal War. RTV getting active again alongside Seb, and Sax in a lot of trouble, Luzrov comes first, enough to bring him down. And we're starting to see the true power of this lineup that you've got inside of Ogo down for sure. And then of course there's Thompson, who's usually getting his hands on the loser or we said Kuchi eventually, so he knows he can move around the map very rapidly as well. The result looks like the first tower to go down is actually going to be one being claimed by OG in the bot lane. Second one should follow suit. Nip scoring one on the board. This tier one is getting low. They're going to dive. TP's coming in right now. They need to back away. Warfry to get them out, but no, the Sprout's going to be there. Cuts the tree. 33. They move quick enough. There's a Stormhammer coming out. Gold Strength. He doesn't want to fight though. Maybe goes back in now. Jarak needs to be careful, but Chain Force does come out. 33 being slowed down. Cool down slow. Gold Stormer is slowing him down so much he can't actually get out of this in one piece. He's going to fall. And they'll find additionals. As PBD looking at my eyes says no tell. Luckily for PBD, there was enough heroes there with the Astral. He moves quickly. Ace, not so quick. He's going to use the time lapse to get behind them and try and move away. Shikuchi off cooldown too, so they won't pursue. They might look to push on the star. They need to fight. Smoke moving out from OG though, as they're still looking to fight. DPD. Very close here. Invis Rune is on Topson, so he's hidden still. Backstab opportunity. He sees Fada. Does get the still loser, but that's what he wants. And now PPD needs to get out of here. The home missile is on him. The gaze controls him up, so he can't get the stock power, and they'll be able to get this tier one tower. OG just ramping up this aggression though as we approach the 15 minute mark. Yeah, we're still gonna deal Primal War being the home missiles chasing onto him, so he will just back away. Jarek will be fine in the bot lane. Dream Call does come out, and Rubik has been fast. Out stunned up. There's a the lift, 10 leaves his lift. Trying to actually control this fight, but it's a little bit too late, it's a little bit too low on HP, and they even commit the Primal Roar to ensure the kill. Yeah, they were afraid that he's gonna use Illusion. It's a small recompense compared to the Primal War format. Dream Call in the mid lane, Thompson's left, and in trouble. Death Splitter comes through and deletes him. PPD with these gold pull down the top lane in the meantime, full claim Sax's head as well. Bigger kill is claimed by NIP, and they can look to push on this tier one as well if they want to. I have Vlad, so whoever might uh, get a kill or two, they could get close. Actually, OG is going into Rose Pit right now. Yeah, apparently they don't want to weigh around. We get in the pit. Nature's will arrive soon. There it is. BPD just scouting it out, as said. It's going to slow it down as well. 
Actually gonna salve him up while he's sleeping. Frost Shield was there to protect him as well. And PPD can just keep being a frustration around this pit. Got 45 seconds on the Earth Split is available. Topson is on the move. He smoked up. Remember if he'll just yet moves pretty fast with the phase boots and the Yules. PPD for us. There it is. That's gonna be there. PPD does break the smoke, but they break his face. And then they head straight back to the pit. That was their big concern. That's the biggest threat to them in that pit right now is Elder Titan getting a good stop. They have a Hawk, so they can see them. But uh, can they contest? They're running. Fuck uh, has a Blink Dagger now. Weave is nowhere near. Like, Ping just came out actually from Saxa. I'm not sure if it's saying push or getting the fight. If it is going to be out. I'm not sure you can get there in time, though. It's going to be close. But it looks like they should have this in time. OG. And they secure the Aegis, there's not going to be any Snatch, maybe Fox tries for this, he can go. There they Science jump straight in, snatched off though, RTV does still get his hands on the Aegis, but the kill on Roche was stolen by Fada. Sneaky move, but with the Hawk, be aggressively, you shuffle lanes and you buy time, in this case, for the Sven and for the Ruben. Okay, no tail, going down here to Ace. Ruben needs to be careful, he's stunned up as he backs up here, now Seb does arrive. They're gonna actually try to backstab here. Chen did walk around the back, but he frees the TP out. We'll be interrupted by the lift. And there is a steal of the Warcry. Which will be pretty handy in the upcoming push for the side of OG. Oh yeah, that's that's a huge steal. Combine that with the Crimson Guard already finished on Ancient Prophet, that's gonna be a ton of mitigated physical damage. It's in the dirt scene. Alright, I'm still up for calling uh Breaking Skell and Skelly Bros. Primal Roar coming out. Jarax, I mean, why try and catch them when you can just ignore them? More buildings to hit. Seb gets the way. Bulldog is probably sitting back on, and this is beautiful. But now he doesn't like this part of it. Cooldown's gonna come in. They're trying to back Seb up here, but the Sprout catches Ace, brings him in, and now RTV. Yes, he needs to get out of here. Reinforcements are coming from both sides of the issue. Thompson is gonna be first to arrive, and the God will allow him to stay alive, but they won't be able to find anything. We'll just line up and run into a problem where they have a static damage. And if NIP can just sustain with the Crimson Pipe, uh, there's no way they're gonna fight them. Thompson does at least find PPD. This will be the consolation prize as OG do at least get something out of this. But giving over a set like that is not optimal considering how rich he is. Over 10,000 gold on him. Richest hero in the game right now, in fact. There's gonna be a cut point. Oh. No, Thompson pretty deep in. Needs to be careful. Tries to shoot you to move away. The Dream Call is going to be there. Now he's stuck on the spot. Chain Frost does come out. The backup is there from No Tail. Trying to keep Thompson alive. The Chain Frost still bouncing around. Not doing enough, though. He's going to be followed by the cross. Actually, he's a loser of Sword. He can finally get the silence. Yeah, Thompson. Oh, Shikuchi. Shikuchi to try and get away. But as much time as he can, he's going to get hit up by Ace and he's going to go down. They already expanded their minds and saw all the possible locations he could have hit him. Oh, Nature's Prophet building into Orchid, wants to stay alive. Oh, the heroes might need to be concerned though. Seb on the Prowl again. Wants to go across towards PPD, but he's in the tree line. There's his Prowl to trap him in, and now there's no escape. Out of time, will fall. The rest of the side of OG are already on their way across. Can they turn this into a tower push right now though? Because it feels like... Maybe we eventually see an Ags later on the game when you expect to see a PKB on two heroes on the side of OG. Sans is going to come out, TPR attempt interrupted by the lift. Topson reveals his blink dagger, they do get a kill into Saxa. Bardo is still lingering here though. This is about just buying time, as much time as possible in fact. And also Lincoln's pretty good against the Rubik, so he can't oh, steal Shikuchi. Silence there, and there's the extra with the Orchid. The Dream Call does come down on two. Can they do enough damage to this Weaver though? Ace able to time that out, now he's going to be there for the Rubik. They chase it through, but maybe too late. Bardo and Ace on the most elusive heroes in the game, and most of OG are pursuing. Good luck finding them though. They know where Ace is at least. They pop the Linkers. Now he's stunned up by the home missile. Beautifully done. Ever that silence is enough to bring him down. They just zap straight through. Oh, they're gonna find him. Yeah, they're gonna find more Primal Roar comes out. Jarek should die in return, but he did bring RTV to the frame. He doesn't want to actually be here. This stun's gonna lock him down. He's trying to move away quick enough. Lose your crew part. He can keep on this. Is it enough? Frost Shield is there. You will to try and buy a little bit of time. When he comes down, he's dead. Stomp, follow through, no, up, nice. the chain no, 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 they're gonna get through them, Thompson goes down, no tail goes down. No, LCV, where am I? What, what is this location? This doesn't look like our jungle. Nice yours, you just there from Fada just to ensure the kill. He knew his damage from his right click probably wouldn't have been enough to use the cross shield. Stunt coming out, the LCV's been caught again. 
And this Gyro is not having a fun time with the Dust Rigor. They see Seb as well. Dreamcore holds him in place. No chance to TP out. He might be tanky, but when there's four heroes here, he doesn't feel it. And actually, the ping's there. DD. Roche isn't up just yet, though. Top's all just a night and look to move away. Can't afford to give over a Roche to NIP. Luckily, it's not up just yet. So if they did go into the pit, Nature's Prophet should be up in time. Primal Raw being used. More kills. No tail. Trying to walk away here. He's going to be slowed down. Chain Force just bounces out. But no tail. Overwhelmed by the damage. At the same time, Jarek does die to 33. And OG, they just seem to be. Did not uh, win the, the early game with their heroes. They're definitely not winning it in the, in the late game. Roche just spawned. The tree has ulti plus a full AC. Trying to look tragic for OG. Not just 9,000 network behind, but 22,000 XP behind an IP in this game. And ninjas, they have heroes that make a lot happen with levels. XP difference is just a number. Thank you. You've been in NA too long, they've taught you too oh, much yeah. of their map. Silence and skills out. Thompson. They're trying to get him out actually, but the Yules is going to interrupt it. If Hoja's it through, he's not going to have his escape plan now. Thompson's stunned up and dead. Patience comes out from Fada, and well, Jarek's fought. He finally. Exactly what NIP are doing. Ace moving in. They see Jarek. Less armor on him already. He should be falling here. The Frost Shield trying to keep himself alive with the hand god as well. Is that enough? Primal is going to be the LTV's been found. Stomped up as well. Side through. Connects on the two. Looking to get to the back line. LTV still standing ground. The cooldown's going to be there. Stun's good on the Ace. Is that enough? Like, no. He's going to time lapse out. It's a double kill for Ace. And he chases for more. Looking at the back line. It's going to be good control. Seb stands his ground, but he will fall. The only one left alive is the man who's about to go down. No Tail makes it back to his base, but with no teammates and no life of his own. He'll run through, finish it off. Tops, no, no Tail's gonna live. Topson just about keeps him alive. The lift last today is just getting rid of the shrine, making sure that the map control is not there for OG. They've had this global presence up until now, and now being out of the base is risk. Because look at this, they're gonna jump straight in, they're gonna leash him on the spot, the crown roar as well. Jarakop to no easy way out. There's the hex is gonna be there. They found an additional kill. Seb outside the base. He used to be so tanky, but not anymore. He's gonna go for the TP, but Yules is there. No escape. And this is just looking impossible for OG right now. No tail outside the base. 33 being kited, but no tail can't fight up against this. Stormham is gonna come out, lose your old crew. Speedy Fada does arrive. There's another kill occurs, and yes, he is indeed dominating this game. The other one. Oh, you want the other one? No, I want rapid fire. Screw the gold. Give me the rapid fire. 420 blades if you go home. Oh, moving in. Two fights going on right here. Puck is toying on the side, but now there's the main fight. Ace has the chain force bouncer between him and 33, but the creeps get involved and they just soak it all up. The gyro's already down. They do get the puck on the side. Tops him. He wins his one on one. But pings come out. They're going to move in straight away. Stormhammer out and he's going to fall. Dead for 80 seconds. He does have buyback. That's probably going to force him. Aegis does get reclaimed, but you've already killed two heroes. Yes, you lose Sparta, but you're looking pretty strong even as four. Even Beastmaster picked up a BKB at this point. Look, look how farmed he is. He is pretty stunned. Solar press, Vlad, Blink. Nothing to stop them right now. Thompson does buy back. They need to make something happen, but Jer Jerax, that, that is not the thing they want to happen. He's getting low on HP. The lift's going to be there to control up onto the Weaver. Rude on the spot. They have to use the gaze as well. Silence everything for him. The Manta will allow him to get away from this. Yours is going to be there. When he comes down, you can time lapse if need be, and he will. They look to go out the other way. They threw everything but the kitchen sink at Ace, and he stays alive. Yeah, I could feel Bar Barrack saying, uh, am I joke to you while they were <laughs> chasing the Weaver? Do you, am I not important? <laughs> Do you not require me? Fine. I'll, I'll... NIP's base looks like it's miles away at this stage. Still two tier two standing for them. Not even a piece of damage on the high ground. Primal Roar coming out. Tops and he just bought back as well. He can't afford to go down oh, here. Yours comes out. He's got the Shikuchi trying to move away. Or oh, bite. Wait, what's your plan here? You got blink behind him, make his escape. Topson goes down there, it's, it's over. Because Fire was actually about to respawn. There is Dust is gonna reveal him, they're gonna chase forward. Saxa is on the hunt, and guess who's arriving in the fight? He just respawned. Fire wants the far touch, but Saxa is the one who gets it with the axe. 100 seconds dead for the Rubik. Blows with diarrhea, and they get disconnected for being AFK too long. I have, I have no clue. They need to pull some Boom ID stuff. Got it. GG before you finish the throw. Uh, Hex, Dagon gets him low, Seb almost dead, trying to save him with the Divine Favor, the stomp's gonna be... 
against him as well though. The Dream Core holding in place means he can't ever escape. The Chain Frost is bouncing around. There's too many creeps involved in this fight. No tail. Use the power shield. Self of steel himself. They go for the throne. It looks like NIP have done it. OG will not be going to the major. NIP got their stuff together when it mattered the most. They managed to come back to pull off two, two nice drafts in the, in the last.